Nearly half a century, Gary Trudeau has satirized politics and presidents in his national comic strip, Doonesbury. When Doonesbury first debuted in the Sunday papers, it was 1970. Richard Nixon was president, gas cost 40 cents a gallon, and the voting age in America was still 21. Never afraid to use humor to shine an unflinching light on Washington's political scandals, Trudeau won the Pulitzer Prize in 1975 for his comic strip about President Nixon and Watergate. Fast forward 50 years, as Doonesbury is still going strong and finding plenty of material under President Trump. Trudeau has a new book. It's called Hashtag Sad. Doonesbury in the time of Trump. It's so nice to have you. It's a delightful to be here. Is it hard in an age of social media to, to have satire come across? I mean, to some degree, satire requires really deep understanding so that you, you get the joke, right? Not, not, a, not, a, not especially. I think you have to get it at fast. It ha you have to be a, a kind of rapid response satirist, uh, the way the, the, co the evening comedy shows are, or it's going to get lost. So what I have uh, the, retreated to um, is, is kind of my default mode anyway, which is using my characters and, and uh, using Trump mostly as subtext. If you go through the book, only uh, 10 strips or so actually feature Trump. Mm -hmm. Most of them are about the characters and how they, how they live in this time. The subtitle is Doonesbury in the time of Trump. It's how do, how do we uh, behave, how do we interact, how do we cope with uh, the ongoing chaos. And in how do Washington. you see that? How are we coping, we as a people coping with the Not ongoing Not very chaos? well. I think we're all just kind of on the verge of, uh, of, of a nervous breakdown. And um, I think even his fans wouldn't mind maybe a, a vacation from that. I just came back from a, a trip um, through our national parks. I took a two-week uh, road trip with an old college buddy friend of mine and just kind of interacted with our fellow visitors looking out at these wonders was that everyone spoke in a whisper in these kind of reverential hushed tones. So I've come back refreshed. I was say, and then you, and you came back and it was yeah, like. Yeah, no, Whoosh. you know, I come back to the, to the, to the raging dumpster fire again. And, and I think that, that that's probably the public service that, that comedy provides is it gives you a, a way to, to cope. Trump appeared in the comic strips that you wrote about over the years. Uh, it's not just that he's popped up in hashtag sad. How has he changed in how you think about him, draw him, and even what his character is saying? You know, drawing him is, 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 is I've always, always described it as, as a journey, not a destination, because you can never quite get it right. And, um, you know, I've tried to reverse engineer the hair, and I've been doing that ever since his hair was brown, which was when I first started drawing him back in the, um, in the uh, late 80s. And so people in my industry just found him a, a, a natural draw. For, for cartoonists, the thing that's sort of a paradox is, the, is that which... Uh, uh, repels you, draw, you know, is, is what draws you into um, wanting to do something. Because he just kind of stepped into the strip. And unlike any other public figure, um, I just took him from real life and put him in the strip. What can comic strips do that other, other genres cannot do? What's the, what's the special thing that this has that you can't get in a, a tweet or a video or an article or a vlog or a blog or all the other platforms that exist? Well, there's, a, there's great variety in comic strips. I have a, developed a somewhat more a ambitious interest, which is, which is to tell stories. Um, there are, of course, been many story strips. Um, but in, in my case, I think the advantage I have in the arena of, of topical comedy is that I have characters. And that can, if, if you know, when I get it right, it can deepen um, people's understanding of an issue or can help them think about it in a different way um, and um, move them to thought, thought and judgment. I know that probably sounds a little grandiose, but, but... No, it sounds like, at the end of the day, storytelling is everything. We're wired for story, okay. and that's how we understand the world, that you're better able to understand an idea or a conflict or a personality if there's a story attached to it. Um, we're just hardwired for it. The book is called Hashtag Sad Doonesbury in the Time of Trump. Gary Trudeau, nice to have you. Thank oh, you. Oh, it's nice to be here. Appreciate it. Thank you.